Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemsgirl and welcome to a walkthrough and tutorial of the All Mezzed Up quest in Sims Free Play. This is a new discovery quest that was introduced into the game on the 3rd of April 2018. When you are able to start this quest, you will get this pop-up in your town that says complete this quest to unlock the ability to build mezzanines in your Sims house. Complete before the time runs out to win the mezzanine house. So the requirements to start this are that you must be level 17 and complete the multi-story renovations quest, the patio quest, the balcony quest and the basement quest. As with all the other discovery quests, there's a character that you need to go to to begin the quest. For this quest, it is Brie who is over at the park. You can come over to the park and you will see her there with a little icon above her head. Click on and this is how you can begin the quest. So DIY Brie is back in town. This time she is uncovering the art of creating mezzanine floors in your own home. Will DIY Brie need your Sims help yet again? So let's begin this quest. I am so excited for completing this because I can't wait to get mezzanines in. I just oh, can't wait so much. So you have seven days to complete this from whenever you start it. And as we said, the prize for completing it within the time limit is the beautiful mezzanine house. And just by completing the quest, you unlock the ability to build mezzanines in your houses. First thing you need to do is to talk to Brie. Your sim notices that DIY Brie is looking extremely stressed out over something. Talk to DIY Brie to find out what has got her so upset. So we have a sim over here, so I suppose we'll just use this sim. Talk to Brie for five minutes. Now we need to hug Brie. Your sim approaches a stressed Brie. It seems that an expert who was supposed to help her with a new DIY episode on the mezzanines has backed out at the last minute. She's on a tight schedule and has no one to help. Brie is not going to get anything done in her current state. Have your sim hug Brie. Let's give her a hug, poor thing, for 10 minutes. Aww. Now we're going to offer to help her. Your Sims hug calms Brie down a little, but she still has no one to help her with her TV episode and her deadline is getting closer. What can your Sim do? They know. Pretend to be an expert in mezzanines. Have your Sim offer to help Brie. So let's offer some help to her for 15 minutes. Your Sims offer to help is such a great relief to Brie. She is over the moon. Time to go home and phone a cab to the mezzanine house. Remember, phones can be found in the electronics tab of the home store. So we need to go to a home and phone a cab. So let's go click on SIM tracker and we'll take this SIM home. I do already have a phone in this house, but if you haven't, just go into your home store and into the electronics section where you can find the phones there. Let's click on the phone and we need to call a cab to the mezzanine house there, top left. That doesn't take any time at all. That is just instant. Your sim arrives to find Brie waiting for your sim. Since this is a construction area, safety is paramount. Brie needs to take your sim on a health and safety tour. Talk to Brie to discover the hazards of the workplace. So this is going to be, I assume this is going to be the house that we are going to win, which has a mezzanine floor there. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so what do we need to do? Talk to her? Yeah. We need to start health and safety tour. One hour and one minute. Brie shows your sim the dangers of improperly stacked crockery. Now Brie wants to see if your sim can identify what is currently a hazard in the work area. Can your sim pass her test? Have your sim find the workplace hazards. We need to identify the hazards. So we have a few things going on over here. So we can... I don't know whether we need to inspect all of the items. I think maybe... We do. Let's just, let's do this one. Box of tools. 20 minutes. Can we bring over additional sims? Let's see if we can. We can. So you can bring over additional sims. So we have inspect these for two hours. The box of clothes, inspect for 40 minutes. Well stacked boxes. I mean, I don't feel like they're a hazard, but let's do that for one hour. And that is everything. So yeah, I don't know whether which one is the option to do, but that's what we'll go with. The 20 minute one is done. The object your sim chose is not a hazard. Try again. Let's see. The 40 minute one is not a hazard. The well stacked boxes that we were pretty sure weren't is not a hazard. It is the two hour one that is the hazard. So that's the one that you need to click on. You don't need to bother with clicking on the others. There we go. We've identified that hazard. 
Now we need to clean space. Brie is floored that your sim is able to recognise the trip hazard caused from the broken floor. It is time to ensure the second floor is styled correctly for the show. There's a lot of mess on the second floor. Brie needs help in cleaning the space. Have your sim clean the second floor. So let's go upstairs and see what we've got going on. So we've got a bit of mess going on. Yes, we have. So let's click and we have a rubbish bag here. One hour that we need to clear up. We've got buckets of water, three hours 20. Can we do any others? That, that, that's all we can do. So use two sims for this, definitely. Don't just use one much quicker if you have two sims doing it at the same time. With the space clear, Brie wants your sim to use their expertise to ensure the mezzanine is safe. Your sim recalls seeing on TV that it is common practice to check walls to see if they're solid. Perhaps that will work. Have your sim check the marked walls on the second floor. So again, we have different options. So we have check wall 3 hours over here, check wall 5 hours 50, and check wall two hours so yeah again have three sims over here doing this at the same time the longest time there was this five hours and 50 minutes so overall that will should only take you five hours and 50 minutes if you get three sims coming over look at them checking out the walls now we need to shoo the cat fluttering fluff balls while your sim was checking the walls a cat snuck into the house to avoid a filming catastrophe it must be shooed away have your sim have your sim shoo the cat away ah poor little thing we need to shoo away for four hours and ten minutes and look at him he has this huge megaphone that he's using to shoo the cat away Aw, poor cat. We finished shooing away the cat. Now we need to research mezzanines. Finally, the house is feline free. Now Brie wants your sim to confirm that the third floor mezzanine is safe. Sadly, your sim failed to mention to Brie that they lied about being an expert in mezzanines. Oops. Time to for some quick research. Where better to research than the internet? Research mezzanines on a computer. So we've got a computer already in this house, so we can just go ahead and click on it. It is a three-star computer as well, so we're good with that. We need to research mezzanines top right there for five hours and 30 minutes. We need to go to a home lot. Your sim researches mezzanines using Ask Abes and watching SimTube. Wow, the internet is so full of conflicting and confusing information. Isn't it just? The only way for your sim to be sure is to build a mezzanine. Time to put your sim's findings into practice. Send your sim to a home lot to construct a mezzanine. Oh, this is cool. So we get to construct a mezzanine during the actual quest. So we've just come over to a home lot and that has completed that. Now we need to actually build the mezzanine. So your sim arrives home. Building a mezzanine is the only way to be absolutely sure. Have your sim build a mezzanine. Note, mezzanines can only be built on a multi-storey house. There must be a room below the room in which you want to build the mezzanine. So this house that I am currently building seems... Oh, I have two babies in this house. I didn't realise. I am currently building this house. So let's try it in here. So click in here. And we have a new section in the home store now. We have this mezzanines section. And have I got rooms upstairs i'm not sure no i don't think i have actually built rooms so let's go ahead and build just a room upstairs like that and then into the mezzanine section so to build a mezzanine touch and drag anywhere within a room so we can't cross over a room like that you can see the lines we can't go across a room but we can build either in this one room here or we could build it in this room or in this room however you want and they can be very small. They can be one by two mezzanines. Let's build a three by three one there. Ah, this is so awesome. There we go, that we completed that. Now we need to modify the mezzanine. Great work building the mezzanine. Have your sim test the structural integrity by modifying the mezzanine. So we can just make it a little bit smaller. So it works just in the same way as a balcony or another room, I suppose. We have completed that. Now we need to return to the mezzanine house. Your sims tests with building and modifying mezzanines convinces them that the mezzanine on the third floor of Bree's house will be safe. Phone a cab to the mezzanine house. 
so I haven't got I haven't got anything in this house apart from two babies. So let's <laughs> place a phone down. Electronic section. And then it will just be instantly over to the mezzanine house once you click on that. Your sim arrives at the mezzanine house. Time to give Brie the good news about their mezzanine success. Speak to Brie. So we keep changing sims during this quest, don't we? Let's click on Brie and give her the good news for five hours. Your sim informs Brie that the third floor is stable. Brie looks a little unconvinced. Time to break out the whiteboard and markers. Have your sim detail the mezzanine's structural integrity on the whiteboard. So we have a whiteboard in the house here. Let's go and click on it and convince Brie for 10 hours. She takes a lot of convincing, right? Your sims diagrams and the smell of whiteboard markers has convinced Brie. I love that smell of whiteboard markers. She tells your sim that the producer, Sue Portive, will be here any minute. Brie will tidy the third floor mezzanine while you greet Sue. Have your sim meet Sue Portive. So, oh, she has arrived. Let's go and greet her. Meet Sue for six hours and 40 minutes. We've finished meeting Sue. Now we need to investigate Brie's work. Your sim introduces themselves to Sue. She is surprised to see that Brie has help from your sim. She would like to see the completed mezzanines in the house. Brie should be finished preparing now. Go to the third floor to look at Brie's work. Let's go up and we have an exclamation mark. We need to investigate Brie's work for 7 hours and 30 minutes. Your Sim and Sue arrive on the third floor. Brie has just finished prepping the mezzanine. Sue is furious at the mess everywhere. The site is not ready for the photo shoot. She wants to shut the set down immediately. Have your sim calm, Sue. Oh my goodness, let's, where's she gone? Let's get her. She's gone downstairs. Click on her and calm her down for four hours and ten minutes. Sue has been calmed. Now we need to have three sims in the mezzanine house, which I think I already have, to be honest. Your sim's words have little effect. Sue is so angry. She wants to fire Brie. Poor Brie. Your sim promises they will get the job done. Sue momentarily relents. This is a big task for your sim. They need to get some help. Have three sims in the mezzanine house. So yeah, I already have them. If you if you haven't got three sims over, just go into your sim tracker and whistle them over. Now we need to clean the third floor. Now the help has arrived, it's time to get the third floor clean and save Bree's bacon. Clean all the mess on the third floor. So we're probably going to have a few things to do up here. Yes, we are. So we have got cans of paint, clean mess for 3 hours 20. We've got, whoa, buckets of water, clean mess, 8 hours 20. Rubbish bag, 1 hour 40. And rubbish bag, clean mess for 5 hours. Make sure that you bring over 4 sims and you're not doing all of this with 1 sim. And then it will just take you 8 hours and 20 minutes, which is the longest time for one of the cleanups. Third floor is all clean. Oh, we need to cuddle the kitten. Cleaning the mess should appease Sue. However, removing the last item revealed a kitten. It must belong to the cat that was found earlier. It looks very nervous. Perhaps cuddling it will calm it down. A calm kitten will be able to find its mother. Cuddle the kitten. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. Oh, look at it. Let's cuddle the kitten for 11 hours and 40 minutes. Oh. I love the kittens. So cute. What great work. The house is now tidy and feline free. Again. Let's hope Sue is happy. Has Brie still got a job? Talk to Sue. So let's go and find. She's down here. Let's click on her and approach Sue 3 hours and 20 minutes. Your sim tells Sue that the third floor is now tidy. She seems pleased but is still angry at Brie. She's giving Brie one final chance. Brie is happy, but is also very shaken. Have your sim comfort Brie. Poor Brie. Let's click on her and comfort her for 6 hours 40 minutes. Brie is so grateful that your sim is so supportive of her. With the house now complete, Brie wants to start the photo shoot and interview ASAP. 
Your sim is filthy though from all the hard work. Have your sim freshen up in a shower. So we will have a shower over here surely. Yes we do. And freshen up for whoa, 10 hours and 30 minutes. Freshen up has finished. Now we need to have a group photo. Your sim feels fresher and looks more presentable. It's time to team up with Brie and Sue and get a group photo in front of the mezzanine house for the front page of the DIY magazine. Have your sim meet for a group photo with Brie and Sue. Let's go down to the front yard here and have a group photo for 5 hours and 50 minutes. Ah, oh, that's so cute. What a great photo. To finish the shoot, Brie and Sue now want an interview with your sim to discuss the design process. Talk to Brie to start the interview. So let's go and find Brie and start the interview is 11 hours and 40 minutes. Sue and Brie are pleased with the footage and the interview. It's time to wrap up. After all the hard work, the pool outside is looking really inviting. Have three sims relax in the deck chairs by the pool in the mezzanine house. So, if we click on them and relax by the pool, is 16 hours and 40 minutes and we need to do that with three sims. There's three deck chairs, so we can get three sims doing that there. The three sims have finished relaxing by the pool, now we need to send them all home. What a crazy day! Your sim is exhausted from wrangling cats, building mezzanines, saving Brie from losing her job and contending with a fierce producer. Brie and Sue, thank your sim again for their hard work and say they'll be happy to work with them again in the future. Time to call it a day. Send all of your sims home. So let's send them all home, go into the sim tracker. I think that this is gonna complete the quest once everybody leaves. Got quite a few sims over here. They have all gone home and that is quest complete. Congratulations from cranky producers to feline infestations. Your sim has discovered the art of mezzanines. You can now build your own mezzanines by selecting the mezzanine tab in build mode. And then because we completed it within the time limit, we have earned DIY Breeze Mezzanine House. Build the mezzanine house on any empty home lot now. So we did see it within the quest, but as you can see now we have got the mezzanine tab in the home store. And just kind of briefly to go over it, as we kind of saw within the quest, you have to have two rooms, one above each other to be able to place the mezzanine. And you can't obviously place the mezzanine between different rooms, it has to be just in one room. You can build them as big and small as you want. So that whole room there, as you can see, is just a double height room now. I'm gonna love exploring building with mezzanines. It adds so much into the game. We have got the mezzanine house that we can now build and the first one is free, as usual with these templates that we get. This is what it looks like on a premium lot. And it is the house that we used within the quest. Oh, we haven't got that whiteboard. I really wanted to get that whiteboard. On a standard size lot, the house is just obviously exactly the same, but there is a smaller garden. The pool is smaller and you don't get a slide with it. But the house is exactly the same, whether you build it on a premium or on a standard size lot. But thank you so much for watching this walkthrough tutorial of this quest. I hope you managed to complete it within the time frame. Although, to be honest, I mean, I don't think it's majorly important to be able to unlock this house because I think as long as you get the mezzanines, that's kind of all that matters, right? I am so looking forward to seeing how people use this new feature and new things that they build within the game. I can't wait. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you soon for a new video. Bye.